Hello and welcome to this video. I have been using the Bioplay H10 now for a while. So today I'll be narrating my experience with it and how it compares to the Sony and the AirPods Max which I've been using for a very long time now. For design and build quality, I think I'll give it to the AirPods Max. Anytime I pick them up, they just give me this premium feel that I don't get on the Sony or the Bioplay H10. Uh, don't get me wrong, the Bioplay H10 is premium, it looks premium, uh, but I just feel like this design is now getting outdated, it's a little bit old. I just wish they could change it up a little bit, just the way they did with the Bioplay H95. Yeah, so I just prefer the design of the AirPods Max, uh, although it looks a little bit outlandish, it looks quite weird and it draws a lot of attention, especially with this silver color. As you can see, the Sony is made of plastic it doesn't really have much metal around everything is made of plastic but it's got some metal i think in some parts of the headband the bioplay h10 is also made of metal they have these metal plates here and then the headband itself is also made of metal and then you've got uh, this polycarbonate or what i say reinforced plastic material but i think in terms of premium build quality i think i'll give it to the airpods max the bioplay h10 has touch controls on the right ear cup same for the sony's as well but on the AirPods Max, you don't get touch controls. You've just got this dial here, this crown here, for you to rotate. And then there is a button as well here for you to toggle between the active noise cancellation and the ambient mode. Uh, in terms of durability, all of them are quite durable. I've been using the Sony's now for two years, like I said. Don't get fooled by the plastic design. It's quite durable. For the Bioplay H10, I've been using it for a few weeks now. Uh, but from my experience with previous generation Bioplay headphones, they are quite durable as well. Uh, they've got super premium build quality, so I can't complain about them. If I'm going on a trip, like on the train, uh, the Sonys are much better to carry around uh, because you can fold them up easily. While you can't do that on the Bioplay H10 or the AirPods Max. On the AirPods Max, you only get a lightning port. Yes, you heard me right, as you can see here, which is absolutely ridiculous. There is no 3.5 millimeter port for wired listening. Uh, so what I noticed is that if you want to use this wired, you would have to purchase the cable separately. It does not come in the box as well, which is another huge disappointment. On the Sony's, you get a 3.5 millimeter uh, auxiliary port here for wired listening. Same goes for the Bioplay H10 as well. You can use them with uh, 3.5 millimeter cables, which are provided in the box for both of them. In the box as well, you get a hard shell carrying case for both the Sony WH-1000XM3s and the Bioplay H10 as well. The AirPods Max comes with a funny pouch, very funny pouch. I just don't know why Apple did not include a carrying case, but well, it's what it is. I think there are some third party cases you can purchase online right now for the AirPods Max. Coming to comfort, I think the Sony and the Bioplay H10 are a little bit more comfortable than the AirPods Max. The clamping force on the Sony and the Bioplay H10 is not that much when compared to the AirPods Max because the AirPods Max has the hardest clamping force out of all these headphones. The ear pads on the AirPods Max is made of a fabric mesh material. Anytime I wear the AirPods Max, it feels a little bit more itchy and very rough on my skin. You know, when compared to the leather uh, ear pads on the Sony's on the Bioplay H10. Uh, the headbands on all of them are quite comfortable I didn't really feel any discomfort whatsoever uh, but I think the AirPods Max has the most comfortable headbands. It's so soft even though it's made of this mesh material it feels very soft and comfortable. I must applaud Bang & Olufsen. They've really made the Bioplay H10 really lighter. It's much lighter than the previous generation Bioplay H9. That's what I noticed. They feel so light on the head. Once you wear these headphones on your head, you barely notice you have them on. Same goes for the Sony as well. The AirPods Max are the heaviest here. So anytime you put on the AirPods Max, you will definitely notice that you have them on your head. Uh, Sony is charged via USB-C. Same goes for the Bioplay H10 as well. Uh, while the AirPods Max charges via a lightning port, as you can see. Now coming to active noise cancellation, the AirPods Max wins here, hands down. The AirPods Max has the strongest active noise cancellation of all these headphones here. It blocks out the most noise. And I also like the ambient mode as well the most because it sounds very natural on the AirPods Max 
while on the Bioplay H10 it sounds a little bit artificial it sounds a little bit too high pitched it doesn't sound as natural as that of the AirPods Max. The ambient mode on the Sony's is pretty decent as well. Another thing I noticed is that the active noise cancellation on the AirPods Max does not really affect the sound quality like uh, the Sony's and the Bioplay H10. Barely, barely noticeable. So once you switch on active noise cancellation, the music quality stays the same. Uh, while on the Sony's, I think it slightly reduces the bass a little bit. Same goes for the Bioplay H10 as well. It sounds a little bit, I think, slightly shallow. Some of you might not really notice it, but it's there. But the AirPods Max does a fantastic job of retaining the sound quality anytime you turn on the active noise cancellation. So, yep, I'll give it to the AirPods Max on that. When toggling between the ambient mode and the active noise cancellation, it can be a little bit more difficult to tell on the Bioplay H10. Why? Because the active noise cancellation is weaker than that of the Sony's and the AirPods Max. On the Sony and the AirPods Max, once you turn on their active noise cancellation, you notice it straight away. For some reason, I just don't know why Bang & Olufsen did not make the active noise cancellation on the Bioplay H10 as strong as that of the Bioplay H95. Considering how much you are paying for this, they could have easily, easily made it compete with both the Sony and the AirPods Max, and that would have been really, really good. I noticed a little bit of cabin pressure on the AirPods Max. I think it's slightly more than that on the Sony's and the Bioplay H10. There is a little bit of cabin pressure on the Sony, but it's not as much as the AirPods Max. I think the AirPods Max give a little bit more. I also wish the ear cups on the Bioplay H10 were oval in shape rather than this round shape. It doesn't make you feel that intimate with your music like what you get on the Sony's and the AirPods Max. I think the AirPods Max give you the most intimacy with your music when compared to the Sony and the Bioplay H10. So because of the round ear cups on the Bioplay H10, you don't really get a great seal like what you get on the Sony's and the AirPods Max. I think the AirPods Max gives you the best seal. I use all of these headphones to make calls and I noticed that the AirPods Max was the best followed by the Sony's and then third, I'll give it to the Bioplay H10. I think the Bioplay H10 is just a little bit too quiet for my liking. My voice sounded nice and crisp on the AirPods Max when making calls. On the Sony's, it sounded kind of muffled. So if you're going to be making lots of calls, the AirPods Max are the best for that. Now coming to sound quality, um, this is a quite interesting one. My overall best for me is the AirPods Max. Why? Because the AirPods Max sounds the cleanest in the bunch. Anytime I put on the AirPods Max and I listen to tracks with, you know, lots of instrumentation, voices and all that, it sounds much more clearer and cleaner. You know, not just being uh, clearer, cleaner overall on the AirPods Max than the Sony and the Bioplay H10. Uh, the Bioplay H10 is not far behind, don't get me wrong. The Bioplay H10 sounds pretty clean and crisp, but what I noticed with the Bioplay H10 is that it lacks a little bit of punch and thump when compared to the Sony and the AirPods Max. The Sony is the punchiest among the bunch when it comes to bass reproduction, so the bass on the Sony's sounds much more punchy than what you get on the Bioplay H10 and the AirPods Max. The AirPods Max is not far behind. The bass is really there. It's quite punchy and uh, very clean. While on the Sony, the bass is kind of bloated. But you've got an EQ on the app so you can reduce the bass. For the Bioplay H10, the bass reproduction is a little bit weak. That's what I noticed. I had to go into the app to, you know, increase the bass slightly. But you don't still get the punch and thump you get on the Sony's and the AirPods Max. So bear that in mind. So if you are going to be listening to songs like hip hop, the Sony's are the best way to go. The AirPods Max will also do the trick, but the Sony's give you that much more thump and punch in terms of the bass reproduction. But what I noticed with the Bioplay H10 is that it has the best instrument reproduction. Uh, this happened when I listened to a track by Maroon 5. That's Sunday morning. At the beginning of the song, there is this drum that starts to beat. I played it on all of them. On the Sony's, it was way off. On the AirPods Max, it added a little bit of bass boost, which was quite interesting. While on the Bioplay H10, it produced it accurately well. It just sounded as if I was just right there in front of the person playing the drum without any boost to the bass. The texture and the way it feels when the drum snaps, it's much more cleaner 
and more realistic on the Biobly H10 than what you get on the Sony and the AirPods Max. So if you're going to be listening to lots of instruments, classical music, jazz, I think the Bioplay H10 would be the best way to go. For soundstage, I think I'll give it to the Bioplay H10. They've got very good soundstage. Uh, the AirPods Max are not far behind, but the Bioplay H10 sounds a little bit more wider overall than the AirPods Max. Uh, the Sony, I think, takes last here. Don't get me wrong, all these differences I noticed were just little differences. You would barely notice it. The mids are usually a little bit missing on the Sony's while on the Bioplay H10 and Apple AirPods Max, it gets slightly better mids. Um, I noticed that the Bioplay H10 gives you really good mids. It's just that the vocals are a little bit slightly recessed, while the vocals are much more forward on the AirPods Max. On the Sony's, the vocals are centered and forward, but the bloated bass makes it sound a little bit muddy. It drowns out a little bit of the mids. That's what I noticed. So you have to pick your poison. <laughs> but if I'm to pick one in terms of overall sound quality, definitely the AirPods Max is the way to go. Uh, the Bioplay H10 is not far behind. I'll give it second place. And then last place would go to the Sony's. Uh, for battery life, I was getting the best on the Bioplay H10. Yes, uh, with active noise cancellation, I was getting around 35 hours, which is absolutely fantastic. Uh, the Sony's are not far behind. Uh, while the AirPods Max, you don't get the best battery life. I think it has the weakest battery life among all these headphones, which is quite a shame considering the fact that the ear cups are quite large. They could have easily fitted a much larger battery in the ear cups of the AirPods Max, but well, that's not the case. If you don't have any of these headphones and you are considering one and you are in the Apple ecosystem, definitely you have to go with the AirPods Max as you're able to seamlessly switch between devices. So if you have your MacBook, your iPhone, and uh, an iPad, you can switch seamlessly. And then if you're into Android or Windows, the Sony's and the Bioplay H10 would be a much better option for you. So in terms of customizing the sound, the Sony's gives you the most option when compared to the Bioplay H10 and the AirPods Max. Is there any questions you have? Let me know in the comment section below. Thanks so much for watching and feel free to check out other videos on this channel and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.